one thing we've talked about on this channel is detachment. Hmm. Attachment from outcomes that are outside of our control. It was never, and you know, depending on where you view yeah. anything in life. And there's and there's nothing more outside of your control than voting blue in a red state. <laughs> <laughs> or even... Yeah, you that, can try to flip it. Of course, you can. And we saw that. But at, at the same time, regardless of what you believe and think, these people are going to give you what they want you to have. This is what happens when you put all your chips into a, a, a political party, into a belief thing, and, and when it gets shattered or things don't go your way, because you get, because we've talked about being toxic, toxic uh, optimism. I've yeah. been there, I've been there. And that's what happens. Yeah, talk, yeah. Because you become delusional and you get lost in the sauce because if I'm super, super positive about this and I put it out in the universe, it's gonna manifest and it's gonna happen. Yeah. And what happens when it doesn't? Y'all, and here's the problem. Y'all put more stake in these people than in your faith or anything else. I don't get it. I'm not yeah. saying religion is any better, but to put to jeopardize everything that you have for one group of people, or the other are these people paying you? Maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't well, know. Maybe some. They're, they're, they're giving them way too much power. The president doesn't really do anything. No, it's, it's, it's a Congress. Puppet. It's Congress and House. I, you allegedly. should know that. And and the thing about it is, is we've given people, we've given these politicians way too much power to change things for us. What? We all knew someone was gonna win. Somebody got to lose. We knew that was going to be the reality. Yeah. Regardless of whoever you voted for, why are we allowing this to dictate how we should treat one another? If you were, if you're truly liberal and you surely, truly the most understanding, peace loving, I don't want war, Empath I don't want empathetic, yeah. empathetic, the most, the most progressive people ever. Why are you coming at everybody who chose differently or chose not to involve themselves in the madness or picked independent or whatever? Why are we coming at them with the most well, I, I think I think it's black just, AF energy. I have to call it false empathy because man, I'm I'm tired from this. This honestly, especially the last 90 days have been the craziest. Exhausting. It is. I ain't even I'm not even on the ballot. I mean I'm tired. Yeah. I'm exhausted yeah. from this. Everybody's angry, everybody hates, and then everybody it's like it's an interrogation too. It's like people will interrogate you. If you are not, if you're not quick with the answer, yeah. regardless of which one it is, they start drilling you. Cause that's what happened to me. Some people ask you, hey, what are you doing? You know, who did you go for or whatever? Or, or... Like, why does it fucking, first of all, why does it matter? <laughs> and who the fuck cares? It's and, like, and if you don't say anything, you leave it open, they assume it's the worst. <laughs> yeah, of course. Or you don't ask, why do I need to answer? Why does it matter who I who I voted for or, or my belief system? We got whoever we, they, whoever they wanted us to have, we got it. That's it. Right. Nothing's going to change it. It's just we'll see what the next less, rest of this year is going to look yeah. like. It's about to get buck wild. Just, I just, just as long as y'all know that if you didn't vote, it's all your fault. Absolutely. It absolutely. It's the men's fault. It's our fault. And even if you did vote for the Democratic Party, you didn't try hard. Why so, didn't you vote twice? On, on, be <laughs> on, on behalf of black men in America, my bad. So... Here we are. Here we are. What? What? So I guess something happened yesterday. What happened? Yesterday? Apparently, we had an election and it did not go as anticipated. Apparently, what a comeback! Look at that, man. Two hundred and seventy-seven, and that's what people. It's guys. It's not necessarily about our votes. It's the electoral votes. And it's not even over. He still has Michigan, Nevada, Alaska, and they don't want to call it yet. They don't want to call it. He flipped Arizona. He flipped Ohio because Ohio is he flipped Ohio yeah he, he flipped, yeah Ohio's so yeah flipped Ohio Georgia was a big surprise flipped Georgia so the whole blue wall they had got flipped it's I think it's attributed to a lot of people were just fed up with where the economy has been at for the past four years agree and even people who are in lower or in middle class definitely in the middle class absolutely one hundred percent fed up with with the pricing and just everything but i think so the big issue on the left was women's rights and that's a reason why a lot of people are upset who's at fault for this so what are you hearing what are you seeing on your algorithm what have you heard you haven't been around have you been around people yet apparently if you voted for trump it's your fault obviously mm -hmm. um okay. if you voted third party it's your fault okay, okay which fine. is which is kind of funky yeah. and if you didn't vote at all <laughs> it's your fault okay it's like you don't have any agency of choice. If you did not vote for Kamala in one way, shape, or form, then it is your fault that she lost. I'm hearing blame for Latinos because Latinos flipped it big time. Latinos really showed up. I'm hearing men, and I'm hearing black men, too, in particular. It's their, it's our fault that he did because apparently 
and Georgia alone, I guess a lot of, I think they were saying anywhere from 16 to 20 something percent of black men voted mm -hmm. for him and everything. And then it's just like, why, when can we just say, can we not just see it? Look, obviously it's majority. More people are tired of it. This election has become more of a men's versus women's kind of election. So because, is that what it is? You think because, because, it's not race, it's gender that is the issue? It's 100% it's, 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 it's gender. It is, like, you hear race in there, like, why are you black? Why are you voting for Trump? Maybe but not, it's right. definitely 100% on the women's rights. It's like, my, my issue is, is, like, that's not the only thing on the docket. That's that's a problem with the country. Of course. And, and granted, it's that's, that's a huge problem. I feel like their rights shouldn't have been taken away. That's one thing I 100% agree on with the left is, like, yeah, their rights should not have been touched. I agree, but it's it's the states, though. It's not on the president. It's on the states. Your states decide that. He has no say in that whatsoever. That's been clarified. He can't change anything. He put it on the states. So it's up. Wherever state you're in, it's on them to decide. Same thing with the the COVID thing. He, they, he put it on the states. He doesn't want Big Brother involved with it at all. Because it doesn't serve any purpose. Why would you want now, regardless of what do it, if he decided to just be no, no abort... Why would you create the issue or, or say, I'm all for it? Yeah. Why do that? Instead, let's let the states run themselves independently and y'all figure it out. So I agree with that. So yeah, that's not even a valid point. And he can't change anything either without the house, even with him having the house, you know, primary and everything. You, he can't still change anything well, like I've that. Well, I've seen a lot of people like, yo, if you have daughters or if you have a wife or a mother or whatever, mm -hmm. and you're bragging about voting red, then you're the problem. It's like... It's like I, I get what you're trying to say, but it's it's just not working for your argument. I'm sorry. It's not a guy. It's electoral votes that matters. He won and the crazy thing is he won the popular and he killed it there. I think they, since they, I think since Grover Cleveland has someone yeah, come yeah. this far back and won unexpectedly. People and remember they had the betting, people have been killing it on the betting, man. Guys are walking away with 50,000, 85,000. People were sure he was going to lose. What a come up, man. Investing 200 bucks and coming up that much of a win. Jeez, dude. Golly, it's, man. I don't know. I just, I just find, it, I find it funny when you think about how democracy is and how four years ago, you know, he was a threat to democracy. But now, if someone doesn't vote the way you want them to vote, now they are a problem to your democracy. No, they just don't support your issue. What, what do you want me to do? There, there's no right answer. Of course. No matter what, someone's going to be a loser. Somebody. The only thing I don't appreciate is if you're going to lose, lose with grace. Well, so I posted uh, in one of the one of the like news groups things. It was like, you know, now we can focus on, you know, respecting each other again. This that and third. So someone commented and was like, yes, blah, 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 blah. You're the reason why uh, people are going to get their families. I'm like, oh, so you, you're assuming I voted for Trump because I never told you. I, was, I never told you who I voted for. So a lot of people making assumptions out their ass because... There, there. A lot of people are just in their feelings right now, and obviously you see the narrative feeling like, well, they would just delete me now if you voted red, or it's just, it's just a whole lot of wow. this, this weird red so red friendships and, 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 and family families. divorces, yeah. relationships, y'all. And here's the problem: y'all put more stake in these people than in your faith or anything else. I don't get it. I'm not yeah. saying religion is any better, but to put to jeopardize everything that you have. For one group of people, the other are these people paying you? Maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't well, know. Maybe, so. Maybe they're, they're, they're giving them way too much power. The president doesn't really do anything. No, it's, it's, it's a Congress. Puppet. It's Congress and House. I, you allegedly. should know that. And and the thing about it is, is we've given people, we've given these politicians way too much power to change things for us. What are we actively doing to make changes? In our favor. On top of and, that, your local level. We had the local vote going on yeah. too. So that's more of an issue. That's going to impact you much way more, more than with that because you've got the executive, you got the judicial, and you got the legislative. They, these branches were created to keep things in check. So even if supposedly he became this wild dictator, you've got these other layers in place that he can't be. Or people are like, oh well, he placed people in all these different areas of the of the different branches, so he made it to where he's not going to be able to. He's going to have like that presidential immunity and all types of random shit. I'm just oh, like, guys. it's fear mongering. You're creating issues and situations. Well, let's talk about Kamala now. Now she lost. She 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 was the the candidate that lost. Yes. And I feel like she, <laughs> they. You know when someone tries too hard, like someone's a try hard. That's what they they. What did, what did, where did the left go wrong? The, where they went wrong was you invested so much into your marketing. You invested so high, all the not saying Trump didn't do it, but he did not do it on the level they did. The, the amount of celebrity baggage, well, it was different. endorsements. It was different. Of course. And on, on top of that, the, the, the amount of pandering, the amount of promises. You got everybody going on you. Everything you possibly could. You did everything. 
and you still lost this bad? I don't know. I just thought it was really funky when, because usually if a president concedes an election they'll give a speech to their followers of course after the fact people showed up people didn't you know what i'm saying people have to work people mm -hmm. were there to see you supported yeah. you since the last, probably the whole four years you well, i guess technically that he she was given to y'all anyway yeah. but she was given to you but they supported you yeah apparently she hit that middle button on xbox and hit the dashboard real quick she yeah, got the fuck out some of there. flunky showed up and was like hey guys and by that time there's only seven people with launch chairs out there and they cut the feed too that was the crazy part abc cut the feed we all knew someone was going to win, somebody got to lose. We knew that was going to be the reality. Yeah. Regardless of whoever you voted for, why are we allowing this to dictate how we should treat one another? If you were if you're truly liberal and you surely truly the most understanding, peace-loving, I don't want war, Empath I don't want empathetic, yeah. empathetic, the most the most progressive people ever. Why are you coming at everybody who chose differently or chose not to involve themselves in the madness? Or picked independent or whatever. Why are we coming at them with the most? Well, I, I think I think it's black just, AF energy. I have to call it false empathy because it's only empathy when it's a benefit towards a particular cause that someone cares about personally. I understand having having an issue that you feel so strongly about. Absolutely. Women feel very strongly about women's rights. Honestly, I I, I understand that. And a lot of us agree. Not that, that you, women should have autonomy. They should have control of the body. But again. He can't do nothing. He can't do. He can't. It's your state that you have to just educate yourself. Do not go blindly with media, especially legacy media. Your 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 TikToks and all that. People are paid to say the right's the same way, so is the left. They're paid to paint a narrative. Oh, here's one. Um, a lot of people saw this. So she was on the phone with a voter last night. Oh, I didn't know that. And uh, apparently, I went night night early. I didn't care. Apparently, <laughs> when she got off the phone. Mm -hmm. She uh, flipped her phone around. It was on the camera app. <laughs> no. You did. Thank you. This girl can't even lie, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, and that's the problem. She's not sincere. You can tell by the way she speaks. You can tell her by the She's not sincere. Most people can see through a con when they know a con when they see it. Yeah, and it's... So I don't. They're a like, like granted, example. like granted, Trump. Trump's a big grifter, yeah. but 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 Kamala. Well, she was just grifting one on one. But the whole reason it just it felt weird. The narrative. Oh, you need to vote for her because she's a woman. Vote for her because she's a woman of color. Mm -hmm. If you're black, you should vote for her because she's a woman of color. Mm -hmm. Obama comes out on the track. It's like, hey, brothers, you just don't want you don't want to vote her because she's a woman, a black woman at that. They raised you. They took care of you. That does, that's a guilt trip that I don't... I'm No, I don't... Shame, insult, guilt that need to be right. Sign language. He did it. He, then what did he do? I'm going to call Michelle. Michelle shows up. Y'all need to get it together, this and that. Oh, so you're going to have it like... She ain't my mama. You ain't yeah. my mama. Who are you? Yeah. I you think... just like him. Every four years, you get brought, brought back to life like Frankenstein's. Parade around Hillary. Parade around Biden. Right around, Kyle, it's the same thing. We don't see you after that. Other than that, you're kicking it at your houses. I ain't knocking you for your wealth. Yeah. I ain't knocking you for making money and hustling and coming up and forgetting about where you came from. Right, I'm right. not knocking it. Perfectly acceptable. People do it all the time. But to pretend that you care and, and to make black men feel guilty about right. their choices yeah, and like, talking down to us. Basically like we, like saying we're, we're not smart enough to make our own no, decisions. No, no, no. Listen, son. Listen, guys, listen. I'm like, just stop, dude. After 2010, everyone, we're, we're done. We're, yeah. we're, we're done. You didn't do nothing. You lied to us. Cut it out. Uh -huh. The only one you got bamboozled is the woman's. Go ahead. Because you're using feelings. You know what you're doing. You're gaslighting them. You know what you're doing. So regardless of who you voted for, I, I want it to be done personally. But yeah. it won't be. Not we swift. know it's the, not going to be. The, there was not enough Swifties to, 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 to stop the... The red wave. I hate when they come up with these names for things. Right, it's, dude. It's just, I want it to be over, but we all know it's not going to be. It's going to get worse. You know, I get you should win with grace, too, but yeah. some some people are, they, they, <laughs> people well, are going all in on winning, too. They, they, these MAGA Republicans, they're really, really strong at pushing Jeez. that shit in your face. Yeah, I mean, they were already running around with the banners and flags. Yeah. I think we're going to see a solid week of nothing but I, 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 I did. So I went to, to Chick-fil-A this morning for breakfast, right? You oh, know, of course. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. that, that, the homophobic chicken. Mm. <laughs> people uh, still show up and line up for it. <laughs> yeah, I saw three trucks that were like Trump 2025 or Trump 2024 and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yep, see, that's... That's it's it's already happening. Democrats squad of A-list celebrities 
wasn't enough to get Kamala over the line. How did the American public resist the call from these learned souls who are so in touch with the average American and whose moral compass is pure and true and who are never prone to crazy delusions? It can't be. It cannot be. If he, is, he wins the election, he, you won't be on the show anymore. He'll come looking for me. He'll, they'll, they'll be, they'll be Why is he coming for dinner? things that happen that none of us can imagine. Um, oh. That's what happens. In hmm. Side tangent. If it was Pete Buttigieg who was running for the Democrats, would have been much more inclined... I think so. I've I've seen him a little bit, heard him speak. I said, "Yeah, this dude's not too I'm really too bad." He's like he's like their Vivek Ramaswamy. Yeah, yeah, I was like, "Give give me Vivek versus Pete Buttigieg." Yeah, oh. that was like their ver but remember identity politics. Hillary didn't get it because remember we got Hillary because Bill messed up and it was him returning the favor for mm -hmm. messing up to Hillary. And still, Hillary would put up a better fight than the she won. She won the popular vote. She did. Still lost. Crazy. Celebrity endorsements went well. And even the Avengers, man. She got the Avengers. I saw that. Crashing out. Crashing out. RDJ, Scarlett John. And I, some of them I'm not surprised, but I was like, everybody crashing. Chris Evans, Don. She, everybody. Did, 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 did I have you looking for the Infinity Thrones for Thanos? No, I, what, you know what actually happened? Thousands, tens of thousands of people <laughs> unfollowed them. <laughs> That's what ended up happening. They're All of them lost a substantial amount of following Which, after that. Which, in its own right, is stupid. It should, because, they should allow because they have a different political view, but it's just because knowing behind it why they did it. Right, they got paid to do it. All this. So here's the problem: if if I'm if I'm a left and I'm a liberal, all this money's is tax all our money. Y'all know that, right? And it just all went to waste. They paid for their endorsements, and it didn't even matter. Mm -hmm. So you got all your money got invested into a, a gamble that didn't pan out, and they still go and they still got paid. They still made money. Mm -hmm. They go and make more money because he's winning. Mm -hmm. You got nothing. You got bamboozled. You got lied to. Weren't working. Uh, she these had are your her heroes. media propagandists. These are your leaders. Uh, use these shameful tactics. We've laid out the stakes in this crucial election, oh, where one lady. side stands for freedom, while the other meets the textbook definition of fascism, namely a far-right dictatorial regime. Like I, I, I can see that. So I just want to see how much he's changed, because his first run in office was very, very fascist it is very very fascist that's why they have a big uh thing against antifa or anti-fascist hmm, hmm. that's the only way like you don't want to say that it's oh it's not maga republicans out there breaking windows no it's the anti-fascist some of these people are, are by what they're saying and then at the same time it's like man how much are they paying you what do they have on you to just be this gone even on his side like to be this gone this loss of the sauce, like right. to like take this L and 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 run with it, like right. you, you lost. Well, There's no even, even, but even like the hardcore Trump supporters are lost in the sauce because you that's have, what I'm saying. That's like, what I'm saying. Have you, have you ever heard of? You heard of Nick Fuentes? Of course. Oh, dude, dude that dude's crazy. Yes, yeah. and to have him on your platform is crazy to no, me. That's just no. asking. He for denounced Trump. the Trump supporters. No, oh, I didn't. Yeah, know. he separated himself from it. Hmm. He was like, oh, Trump. These Trump Trump supporters are a cult. Yep, so to have something that. as crazy as that guy say, you know what? These guys are a little wild. Yeah, and I and I get it. I myself, I'm not. I don't go for any party, either party. I don't. You know, you know how I feel. I'm not gonna say anything else. There's oh. too many eyes watching, too many people coming for you, boy. So I, I don't get invited to any parties. This is good uh, for you, man. Good for you. I wish that was the same for me. I don't. I'm not invited to any parties. I'm not a part of any party. But apparently. Apparently, well, I am. Yeah, if you didn't, if you voted third party, you're pro Trump. If you vote didn't vote, you're pro Trump. It's, it's like it's a lose lose. You can't win. What? In these people's eyes. Meanwhile, Rachel Maddow was lashing out at the American public, chiding them for not realizing just how good the economy is. The United States economy is the envy of the world. Yeah. The inflation numbers. The economic growth numbers, the fiscal numbers, the U.S. standing in the world numbers. Look at this. Man, blinking all, hard. Did you see the blinks? The positive. But you the know when someone market, is right? lying. When my dude was that frequent blinking was like, you know, um, <laughs> where is this coming from? Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't look that way. <laughs> it's not reflecting. Unemployment's bad. 
layoffs are bad out here. It's not good. Boeing still, I guess they finally came to an agreement or spirit because they're going to be bought out by Boeing. Finally came to it. We had the port issue. We've had all these strikes. We had automakers. All this in the last four to six months. Yeah, I'm crazy. It's been buck wild. So, and it's happening under your regime. It don't look good for you. So that didn't help either. Right. And a lot of those people were like, yo, Biden said he was going to take care of us. Like what what happened down there with the port. Yeah. And he lied to us. We took care of him. He lied to us. And what did they do? They said, okay, we got you. Yeah. Fuck obviously, they eventually, they eventually did bend the knee, obviously, and they got what they want. But still, don't make don't make these promises or think you say you're gonna take care of people. These people vote for you and you and, and give you what they what you want. Right. And then you fo- don't fulfill your and then you the fold. Deal. And then you and then you want well I have to see what I can do. It's like okay, what about the money you donated to Ukraine? What about the money all this money? But you can't bless yeah. us with anything. What about the people in North Carolina? What about the people in Tampa? Right. Right. What about Maui? We just gonna forget about Maui too? Mm-hmm. Again, this is why I got canceled. This, yeah, we're good. We're good, man. I'm done. That's why I got canceled. The freaking stock market, right? right? All off the charts positive. There you have it. You're just imagining all that economic hardship. The share market is up. It's all good. Rachel said so. Now let's hear from a Kamala fan who saw a man in a MAGA hat and launched into this diatribe. She'd be feeling it today. He's going to lose. Oh, Trump. He's going to lose. Good. He's empowering you racist b- is, All right? But you ain't a black b- going to be in the office and his white is going to be out. We're taking the trash out. Loser. Who is he? Ma- okay. But isn't she married to a white man? Who? Kamala? Yeah. Oh. A white Jewish man? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I don't get it. I just love how it's all it's it's why are we racism, it's misogyny, it's it's all these is isms and everything like this. You, you, she, so the black woman's gonna be in charge. God, y'all, she ain't with you. She ain't never been with you. What do you mean? Yeah, and if they're voting for her just because of what she looks like, that makes you just as racist as the person you're calling racist, right? Absolutely. But we know that's why people were voting for Barack once and twice, probably it was because of that. I made that mistake once. <laughs> I'm not a perfect person. I'm no, not but a you, perfect person. But you, but you learn from it. You educated yourself. You asked more critical questions. You took a look and, and observed and, and looked into, you know, why do I think this way? Oh, is this because I was taught to move this way? Because I was raised this way? Because a lot of us were, especially in our community. Mm-hmm. We're pushed into something. Because when you've been voting some, for something the last 90 plus years, mm-hmm. why would that's why they don't owe you anything. I feel like they got to do anything. Well, also, you. we were coming from Bush. Again, this right here, this don't help anything. It'd be different if that if that Trump person was antagonizing you. You drove which, by and they were which point We don't know. Uh, it looks bad for her, but we don't know. We course. only we only see we, clips I, I, I because understand. because they gotta look at the person recording. They can choose when they hit record. Well, of course, absolutely. But the context, you're right. Context is something. But at the same time, is this the way to react? Like I said, we don't know everything. I understand that, and, but and, still, and, 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 being, and I can't grant it. We all react differently to th- different things. And, yeah, and, this, and and people feel strongly about this thing. You're right. People are very emotional, <laughs> strong about it. <laughs> Bro, damn it! Slow that down. <laughs> everything, everything. <laughs> like, oh, about to get ran up on, man. Oh, 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 get this down. But uh, uh, no, nah, I mean, I'm watching. This is like watching a movie. Dude. I guess so. But again. There's more appropriate ways to, to, to speak on something you believe in without getting super aggressive and, and, and meeting it. But I think, sitting from where we're sitting, I think we hold people to a higher stand to how they can control their emotions. Like, if we're able to do it, yeah. Because we, we've gone through our journey. We, we were able oh, absolutely. to. Absolutely. Everybody it, hasn't done that. But still, we give we can extend grace only so far. When is some when are these people gonna grow up and work on that? Yeah, only so much compassion can be, you know. It's not fixing it. What you're doing is not working. The way we're having this attitude both left or right, what is it doing to help anything? You can't say that you're peaceful and you want the best and you're on the left or the right and you're still coming. I'm good, man. That is now that's you, man. <laughs> that's you. I'm gonna get between you and your food. Because you and you cookie monstering it up. But I don't know. That's you're right. We still we only saw a few seconds. You're right, absolutely. But there's still better ways to conduct ourselves. No, I wonder how many people called out sick today. Hmm. Well, funny you should say that. Cool. Some people were saying that that uh, they they did that or they you know or you know people were saying this is worse than COVID and crisis hotlines were. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
one thing we've talked about on this channel is detachment. Hmm, detachment from outcomes that are outside of our control. It was never, and you know, depending on where you view yeah. anything in life. And there's, and there's nothing more outside of your control than voting blue in a red state. <laughs> <laughs> or even... Yeah, you that, can try to flip it. Of course, you can. And we saw that. But at, at the same time, regardless of what you believe and think, these people are going to give you what they want you to have. You will be happy with whatever they give you, and you will continue to go to work, and you will continue to work with a smile on your face. Jeez. How do you feel about this, Norlax? <laughs> How do you feel about this, Norlax? Ah, uh, see, he, 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 he doesn't give a shit either. Yeah. But again, guys, this is what happens when you put all your chips into a, a, a political party, into a belief thing, and, and when it gets shattered or things don't go your way, because you get, because we've talked about being toxic, toxic uh, optimism. I've yeah. been there. I've been there. And that's what happens. Yeah. Because yeah. you become delusional and you get lost in the sauce because if I'm super, super positive about this and I put out in the universe, it's going to manifest and it's going to happen. Yeah. And what happens when it doesn't? What are you left with? What do you have left to live on? Now you're questioning this pillar that you have that you believed in. Right. And it it's crumbles. Like, what, you gotta, what you you got to be balanced. You got to be balanced, you know. It's one thing to expect the best, but, you know, always got to be prepared for things not to go your way. Of course. If this outcome doesn't go my way, what what, what, what then? Then, then what, what are the next steps to get what you want? Because Absolutely. Just... But to sit here and give up on life, sit here and play the victim or blame the blame game, pointing at everyone, it happened. Yeah. You can't change it. All you can do is move forward. What are you going to do? Are you just going to opt out of life? If you, I mean, you can. Right. But remember, when you when you spare yourself pain, the pain just only gets transferred to somebody else. That's right. the reality. So, let's just see. I know Democrats are smart. They won't storm the White House. <laughs> no. They won't storm the White House. No. I don't. And a lot of them are. I don't think they're built for that. <laughs> <laughs> you see? The, nah, they ain't built for that, man. That's a, that's a fucked up generalization. <laughs> it is. It, it is. Well, most of them aren't. <laughs> you see these people? They shut, they're shut down like this. You think they're going to bear arms and do that? No, they're not. That's why maybe they were more afraid that the right was going to do something, so that's why they let him win. Because they knew the right would do it. <laughs> they would step up and do it. They're like, you know what? Let's do it. I, I, just, I just hate how <laughs> these labels in politics and society in general has made us so... It's hilarious. So, 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 so divisive. You can't be a, a pro-choice Republican. Why not? You can't be a. Why can't you be? You can't be a. Why can't you agree with both people? You, you can't be a, a a Democrat with a with an AR-15. You can. <laughs> you can't. There's nothing wrong with it. No, but yeah, yeah, that's that that's too Republican for us. That's too. Well, of course, because that's what they they want you to be. Starch. Yeah, you right. have to be all or nothing. And they I'm used neither. To be. Yeah, and I'm me neither. So here we are. Again, I'm good. That's yours. So uh, apparently, sponsor Skinny Pop, reach out. It's that good. It's that good that you're willing to sit through a segment and consume it. No, so. no, no. Just this is just me eating popcorn, watching America's Downfall. 